this just in case Eleanor cannot join us. Now, I heard Stella was able to pronounce this really difficult word because we're going to work on something today called alphametics, and it's also called cryptorhythms. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. If you guys look at your first page of your packet and the example that I have on the first page, which I really like, is we have the letter A plus the letters B and C equals the letters D and B. Now, what does all that mean? What does all that mean? And let me first explain some of the rules. So the rules are as follows. Only allowed to use the digits. Are you ready for this? Help me out. Zero, one, two, three, four. Help me out. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, that means that A has to be one of these digits, but there's only one digit A can never be. Does anybody know what digit A can't be? That you can never start a number with what digit? What do you zero. Oh, who said zero? Raise your hand. I want, oh, Jason, you are right. A cannot be zero because zero is a number, but it's not a one digit number. What else cannot be zero? Who can tell me what other letter cannot be zero? Valerie, do you have any idea? If a number cannot start, if a number cannot start with zero, what other letter? Oh, Eleanor. Hi, Eleanor. How are you Hi. doing? Good to see you. Hi. Good to see you. So Eleanor, we're talking about this amazing puzzle called alphametics or cryptorhythms. And every single letter is gonna be one of these digits, zero through nine. And we just said, Eleanor, that A cannot be zero because you can't start a number with zero. Like you could have a, a number like 50, but you can't write zero five because that's not really a two digit number. So I asked the group, raise your hand please. What other letter cannot be zero? There's actually two more. Eleanor? B. Of course, B cannot be zero because that would start a number with zero. Now, raise your hand if you know the last letter that cannot be a zero. Go ahead, Stella. Is it C? Well, you know, C right now can be zero, but Jason, what were you thinking? And Valerie, what were you thinking? E. Oh, if you said D, you are absolutely correct. D can also not be zero. So when you're doing these cryptorhythms or these alphametic puzzles, you also want to think about what number, what digits we cannot use. Now, who wants to take a chance and start by 
filling in digits to see if we can make this work. One of the rules is, is that, for instance, do you guys see that we have two Bs in this puzzle? Yeah. Those digits have to be the same. They must be the same digit. Now, the other rule is A has to be a different digit than B, which has to be a different digit than C, which has to be a different digit than D. So every unique letter must be a unique digit. So who wants to take a shot at me the value whoops, of A and C? Who wants to try to give me a possible digit for A and C? Nathan, you're the only one who's, um, who's muted. And I also don't see your eyes. So when I don't see your eyes and you're muted, I think you're doing something else. So I really want you to pay attention. Who wants to take a, take a guess at what A and C could be? Remember, A has to be different than C. Who's gonna throw some ideas out? Let's start with you, Stella. What do you think A and C could be? You're going to have to speak up a little bit, Stella, because I can't hear you. Um, my guess could be like um, seven. So you, so you want A to be seven, and what would C be? Um, one. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you know what... B would have to be if A was seven and C was one. Who knows what B would have to be? Eric, do you know how to add seven plus one? That's going to be B, buddy. Go for it, Eric. You can do this, buddy. What is seven plus one? Eight. Yes. Now, everybody look at this. If this B is eight, then that B is going to have to be eight. Huh. What do you think D would have to be? Go ahead, Jason. Eight. Yeah. Guys, we have a problem. Is D allowed to be the same as B? No. no, no. So even though this is true, seven plus 81 does equal 88. That is not a solution to this puzzle. Now I'm going to tell you something very special. When Stella said, when Stella said that A was seven, I was kind of excited because if she picked a C value, which added to seven greater than 10, maybe she would have solved it. Because if seven plus C is greater, is 10 or greater, we would have to carry a one and then B and D could be different numbers. So who can come up with a value for C that would be, when you add it to seven, would be greater than 10? Who can do that? Nathan, I'm gonna ask you to do that because I don't see you and I want you to be like, angle your, your computer down a little bit so I can see you. So Nathan, give me the value of C right now. Um, I think C. Remember, when you add it to seven, it's got to be 10 or more. Hmm. 
I think it is 11. I'm sorry? Um, I think it is 11. Well, do you see the digits here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There is no single digit that is 11. So you have to choose one of these digits that is not seven because Stella already chose seven for A. Now, come on, Nathan, you gotta follow the rules. We have to pick from zero to nine. Go for it. Hmm. Does somebody else wanna help out? I think one. What did you say, buddy? Um, I think it is one. Yeah, now that means that you were not paying attention when we just did the whole thing because Stella said that C was one, Eric said that B was eight, and then of course seven plus one, there's no carry, and D cannot be eight. So Nathan, you've got to pay attention to what's going on. So Nathan, can you give me a value for C that when you add it to seven is greater than 10? Valerie, come on, you can do this. Nine. Go ahead, Valerie. Uh, come on, Valerie, I need a value for C that's greater, that when you add it to seven is greater than 10. Jason, go ahead, honey. I know, I know. Go ahead, Nathan. Um, nine. Oh, we go we can, let's try nine. Now, everybody, what is seven plus nine, everybody? Sixteen. Yes. 16. So if B is six and we carry a one and B is six, what is one plus six? Seven. Seven. Are we allowed to have D at seven if A is already seven? No. No. Oh, Nathan, you picked a good one, but it didn't solve the puzzle. Now, Valerie, I want you to pick one maybe that does work. Four. Ooh, I kind of like four. Who can tell me what B is? Go ahead. What is 11. B? Oh, B is not one. 11. One. Ah, B is one. Now, Eleanor, when you said 11, I know what you meant. You meant that seven plus four is 11, but the digit B stands for one. And we have to carry the one for 11. And if B is one, raise your hand if you know what D is. Go ahead, raise your hand. One. Go, Jason. One. Uh-uh. You have to add the carry. Two. One. Two. And it is two. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have solved our first cryptorhythm puzzle. And the solution to this puzzle is seven plus 14 equals 21. And we did not violate any rules because every different letter is a different digit and B is the same digit. Now, I'm gonna show you something, guys. I love what Stella chose, but A can be a different number. What if A were six? And what if uh, C is, why don't we try seven? Then B could be three, carry the one, and D is four. So there are many, many, many different solutions to this puzzle. Now, would you guys like to try another puzzle that is fun? Are you ready? Everybody, let's go. Wait. 
Yeah. I'm going to take the ABC <laughs> and I want everybody looking at this one. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to write, and I like to do this, I'm going to write the digits one through nine all the way across the top. And if you want to do that with me, you can do that too. Yeah. If it were me, Eric, I would pick up my pencil and I'd be writing the digits one through nine on top. Nathan, are you doing that, buddy? Yeah. Good man. Jason, you're doing that? I, I can see Stella doing it. A little noise on the background of someone. They might have to mute themselves. I can see Valerie working and Ellen, oh, and Jason, and everybody. All right. Now, now, who thinks they have an idea about what we can start with right now? Who thinks they have an idea of what you'd like to start with? Do you think we should start with the D's because there are two of them? Who thinks we should start with the D's? And raise your hand if you want to give me a digit that we can start with. Raise your hand if you want to start because a. it really takes. Okay, Jason, go for it, buddy. What do you think you want to make? A. Oh, you want to start with A. What numbers do you want to give A? Mm. Nine. Ooh. Nine. Now, guys, nine is a beautiful number, but we have a little problem with nine. If you added nine plus nine, raise your hand if you know what we get. Go ahead, go ahead, Stella. 18. 18. And, and guys, 18 means that F would be eight, but it means there's a carry. And it means that there's another number which is not in our puzzle. So Jason, when you chose nine, any A value that you choose cannot be 10 or greater. It cannot Three. be 10 or Three. greater. So raise Three. your hand. Wait, Jason, hold on. Raise your hand if you think you could come up with a different A value that might work for us. What do you think, Valerie? Four. No, I like four. I'm going to write four here and here and put a plus sign. And do you think that I should make F8? Or do you think I should wait to see if there's going to be a carry to make F9? Who thinks I should make F8 now? And who thinks we should wait to see if there's a carry from adding B plus D? Go ahead, Stella. I think we should wait. I agree. We know that F is going to be either eight or nine, but we're not sure yet. So who's got the next letter? Eleanor, can you give me a, a letter for D that might work for us? What, what digit can we substitute for D, Eleanor? X. Uh, which, which number? Six. Oh, six. Let's try that. 
Everybody write down six. Now, the next job we have is we have to choose a number for C. Now, Eric, can you choose a number, a digit for C that we're gonna have to add to six? And think about, Eric, whether when you add C to six, I think it's got to be bigger than 10. 10 or bigger. Go ahead, Eric. Give me a C to add to six. Okay. What do you think, Eric? Now we've already used four and six, so you can choose any of these digits and let's see what happens. Power. Seven? I think you chose very well, Eric. I think you chose very well. And I, can I show you why? If you had chosen zero for C, who can tell me what N would have been? Yeah. N would have been six. Can D and N both be six? No. No way. So we know that C cannot be zero, but I really like Eric seven. Who can tell me what N is? Who can tell me what N is? Go ahead and raise your hand if you know. Nathan, are you paying attention? Do you yeah. know what N is? Um, I think N is, I think N is, oh, seven plus three. Six. Three, three. Yes. And if N is three, who can tell me what we have to do in the tens column? What do we have to put up here in the tens column? Go ahead, Nathan. Um, uh, a one. Right. We have to put a carry because seven plus six is 13. Very good. Now, who can come up with a letter for B that when we add it, the one and six is gonna be different than all the other digits we've chosen. So we've already chosen a three, a four, a six, and a seven. Who thinks they've got the answer? Who thinks they know what B has to be? Who's gonna try? Go ahead, Jason. Whoa! You have to say it more clearly. Five. Ooh, five. Everybody write down five. I like that, Jason. Now, raise your hand if you can tell me what you is. Now that we know what B and D are, what does U have to be? Valerie, I'd like you to try this one. What do you think, Valerie, when you add one, five, and six, what do you get? Go for it, Valerie. Go ahead, honey. Twelve. Yes, but what does you have to be? You can only be one digit. Two. Yes. And what do I have to do at the top of the hundreds column? One at the one. Yes, I need a carry of one, Valerie. 
do you understand why we need to have a carry of one? Valerie, do you understand? Give me a thumbs up if you do. All right, does everybody know that one plus five plus six is 12? And therefore, who can tell me what F is? Raise your hand if you know F. Say it on three. Come on, Eleanor. One, two, three, go. Nine. Yes. And guess what, everybody? You have solved the puzzle for ABC plus add equals fun. You solved it. Now, I do have to tell you, there are many, many, many solutions. Now, I'm gonna try one more right now. If I make D7 and I make C4, then N is one and I carry a one. And if I make, uh, let's say, B a five, one plus five plus seven is 13. And then what can I make A? Well, A can be, uh-oh, guess what? Mr. Kramer made mm -hmm. a mistake. Mm -hmm. Can anyone see why this was a mistake? What do you think A could be here? I chose the wrong digit for B. Go ahead, Nathan. Um, you, um, it's supposed to be two. Yep. And guess what the problem is? If A is two, one plus two plus two equals what, everybody? Five. Five. And F and B cannot be the same. So maybe we can fix this. Maybe we can fix this. What if we made B something else? What if we made B a two? What if we made B, uh, no, I don't think that would work either. I don't think that, well, maybe it would work. One plus two plus seven is what? So zero, carry the one. Oh, guess what, guys? That doesn't work either. Because the only other digit I could use is a three. And one plus three plus three is? Seven. 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 And F cannot be the same thing. So do you see how really challenging this can be? I, what if I choose B at zero? Now U is eight. And now what could I do? I could now use three and three. And who can tell me what F is? Yes. That's right. So I just solved it. But man, that was really hard. That was really hard. Now, do you guys want to know what's really difficult? If there is a puzzle with only one solution, it's really, really hard. So let's do that right now. The, go to page three. Jacket. This one is one of my favorites. It's the letter I plus the letters BB equals ILL. -L. So B and B have to be the same. L and L have to be the same. Now, what do you guys want to try? And remember, you know how Mr. Kramer likes to write the digits up above. Everybody do that right now. If you write the digits 
it really, really helps you to focus. It really, really helps you to focus. Now, who's gonna start out? Who's gonna take our chance? And I'm thinking maybe we should start with B. Go ahead, Jason. Seven. Ooh, I like, that's a good idea. Now, let's see what happens. Who is gonna choose a, a digit for I? And remember, I cannot be zero. So any other digit, who's gonna make a choice? Stella, why don't we, why don't you make a choice for I? Um, hmm. I'm choosing four. Aha. Uh -huh. Now if you choose four. Who can tell me what L is? Eleanor, Eleanor, can you tell me what L is if we choose a seven and a four? 11. Well, L can't be 11 because I know what you meant. You meant four plus seven is 11, but what digit does L have to be? It can only be one, exactly. And what do we do on the top of the tens columns, Eleanor? Right, Eric, carry a one. Uh-oh, we have a problem. One plus seven, everybody, is what? Eight, and guess what? It doesn't even give us another four for I. So we already know that we're going to need a carry, but that number cannot be seven. Who can tell me what B has to be? It has to be the highest possible digit. Who knows what it has to be? Stella, what's the highest possible? possible digit. Go for it. Nine. Nine. Everybody write down 99 for BB. Everybody write down 99 for BB. Now, I think you guys are going to like this. Who is going to choose a digit for I? If you replace I with a particular digit, you only have one way to solve this puzzle. We've already used nine. And remember, whatever you put here for I is going to also appear here. So who thinks they know? What do we want to add? Cool. 99. What digit? Go ahead, Jason. Give it a shot. Whoa. Uh-oh. Let's see. If we put a one there and a one for I there, raise your hand if you know what L is. Raise your hand if you know what L is. Come on, guys. Nathan, are you looking at this? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Valerie. I'm ready. Hey. Yes, L must be zero because one plus 99 equals 100. Everybody, you did it. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a round of applause. Unbelievable. And I can't believe you guys solved one of the most difficult cryptorhythms that exist. And we only needed three letters to do it. Now, the next one, everybody go to page four. This one is really, really fun. And I like it a lot because you have an A over here 
and a C right below it. Guys, can A be the same digit as C? No. No. So who can tell me what that means for our puzzle? What has to happen when we add B plus C? What has to happen? Oh. Who's going to take a, who's going to tell me? A and C cannot be the same. Jason, what do you think, buddy? B plus C over 10. Yes. Everybody say that out loud. B plus C needs to be greater than or equal to 10. The reason is we are going to need a carry of one. Whatever is A, C is going to be A plus one. Who wants to take a chance? Who thinks they know what A could be? Who thinks they know? Why don't we take a chance? Who's going to try? Um, I need to use the bathroom. You go right ahead, Nathan, and just wash your hands, buddy. Eleanor, what about you? Do you want to take a chance? I want I can't hear you. Two. Which one, Eleanor? Six. Six. So if A is six and there's a carry, what must be C? And I'm going to ask Eric. Eric, what does C have to be? One plus six has to be C. Go ahead, Eric. Seven. Yes. And everybody write down a seven for the other C as well. Now, you guys have to come up with B. What does B have to be? And remember, B plus seven has to be 10 or greater. It has to be 10 or greater. Come on. What do you think that B has to be? Go ahead, Valerie, you can do it. Stella, you can do it. Go ahead, Eleanor. And and please, Stella, unmute your phone. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jason, give us give us your idea for B, buddy. Say it again, Jason, a little a little nicer. Four. Don't yell it. Just say four. And I'm gonna four. write down a four for B. And of course, both B's have to be four. Who can tell me? Raise your hand. What does E have to be? What does E have to be? Eleanor. One. Wait a minute. Maybe. But Eleanor, if E is one and that's a one, what does D have to be? Doesn't D, how do you get four plus something to equal one or 11? Wouldn't D have to be seven? And if D is seven, it's the same as C. Four plus seven is one. Guess what, guys? I think we are going to have a carry. I think that B plus D 
is going to have to be greater than 10. So who can tell me what E is now? Valerie, what is E now if we make Ooh. a carry? Go ahead, Eleanor. I mean, go ahead, Valerie. Wow. Right, but 12 is two digits. What digit mm. would E has to be? Two. Right. And if E is two, now this is the big time. I want everybody. Oh. Wait, 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 Jason, 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 you're not allowed to call it out. You have to raise your hand. I want everybody thinking, what does D have to be? Because when you add four plus D, it's gonna have to equal 12. So I want everybody thinking about what D has to be. Nathan, you're the only one I can't see because you're a little bit too low and either your computer down and I can see you. Also, Stella, I wonder if you're working on this. Remember, do not mute yourself. Do not mute yourself. All right. Everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. Eight. Eight. Oh my God. Guys, you just solved. You just solved one of the coolest puzzles of all. I love it. I love it. 644 plus 78 equals 722. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Now, let's go to another challenging puzzle. Now, this oh, one yeah. is kind of fun. This is called Here She Comes. So here plus she equals comes. Here she comes. So one thing that's really interesting with this puzzle, go to page seven. Here she comes. Hey, here she comes. So everybody go to page seven and let's write down the digits. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Everybody write those down. Valerie, you as well. Everybody write those down. Nathan's writing it. Eric's writing it. And wait, did I just lose Stella? Where did Stella go? Okay, well, I'm glad that we are uh, recording. That way Stella can see the rest of this lesson when she can, if she doesn't come back. So guys, what do you think we have to do with C. There's no digits above the C. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Is there going to need to be a carry above this column? Who can tell me if there has to be a carry? Give me thumbs up if you think there has to be a carry. Eleanor, what does that carry have to be? One. Yes. Everybody put a one above the C. Now, do you know what that means? It means that C can only be one digit. Who knows what C has to be? Come on, say it, guys. On three, one, two, three. Come on. When you add one to zero, what do you get? One. Exactly. So C has to be one. It can't be anything else but one. So we already know that C is one. Now, the problem is we need to add H plus nothing, and it has to be 10 or more. 
Now, what's the biggest digit that H can be? What's the biggest digit that H can be, everybody? Go ahead and say it out loud. Nine. Yes, eight can only be nine. But nine plus zero is nine. And that doesn't work. We need this to be 10. So what do we know that we have to do above the nine? What do we need, everybody? Come on, we need a what? We need a carry. And if we carry a one above the nine, who can tell me what O is? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. What does O have to be? Come on, guys, think about it. Nathan, are you looking? Nathan, are you looking? Oh, Jason, remember you're supposed to raise your hand and not speak out. Nathan, what does O have to be? Um, o has to be nine. One plus nine, Nathan. What does O have to be? Nine. Well, it can't be two digits. Zero. It, yes. It can only be zero. Everybody write that down. We've just used zero, one, and nine. Now, the good news is, is there's another H in this puzzle. So that means that we can give the other H a value of nine. So everybody write that down. Eric, did you write it down, buddy? Yes. I write it down. Good man. Now, the next letter, I would like Eric to give us a letter for eight, for E, because there are four E's in this puzzle, Eric. So if you choose the right number for E, we might be able to solve this puzzle. And I want everybody thinking about what E should be. Eric, what do you think? And Eric, you can choose from two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Hey. Let's try it, everybody. I'm going to do it in blue. I'm going to put an eight. I'm going to put an eight. I'm going to put an eight and an eight. And don't forget that nine for the H. Now, let's see if it works. Who can tell me, who can tell me what S has to be? Raise your hand hand. Eight plus eight. We need one digit. Don't answer it as a two digit. Tell me what the letter S has to be. Say it on three. One, two, three. Six. Yes. yes. Six. And we have to carry the one in the tens column. Now, remember, if this is a six, so is the other S. Now, who can tell me what M, no, no, not M, what R has to be? Now, don't say it out loud, but one plus R plus nine has to equal 18. And I think that might be a problem. Who can tell me what R has to be? Go ahead, Nathan. I think it should be zero or 10. Well, you can't have two digits. So it can't be, no. and it can't be a zero because O is already zero. Yeah. 
Who can, come on, Valerie. What does this have to be? One plus uh, nine plus what? Wait. Jason, do you want to help out? Hey. Yes. Everybody, this puzzle is not going to work with eight as E. So, because eight can't be both R and E. So, who can tell me now what we can make E? Come on, I want somebody else to give me a value for E. That would work. Go ahead, Jason. Bye. Ooh, let us try. Everybody write down fives. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Jason, look what happened. S has to be what, guys? Five plus five is 10, so S has to be what? Six. It, zero. And, it can't, and S can't be zero because O is already zero. Jason, that was a great try. Who's gonna give me the next one? Eleanor, why don't you try E? Go ahead, Eleanor. Come on, we've tried five, we've tried eight. Seven. And if we try seven, guys, we know that seven plus seven is what, guys? Ooh. 14. And guys, guess what's wrong with that? We need one plus nine plus seven to make 17. So we know that there cannot be a carry here. The value of E has to be small enough that it's not a carry. So what? number do we need for E, everybody? Come on. Wow. It, can't be, it can't be one, but it might be four. And if it's four, what is S? Come on, what is S? Eight. Yes. And if S is eight, what does R have to be. What number plus nine equals 14? What number plus nine equals 14? Come on, nine plus what num what digit equals 14? Come on, guys, we can do this. Five. Oh, yes, it is five. And therefore, we need a carry in the hundreds and nobody yell it out. Nobody yell it out. What is one plus four plus eight gonna give us for the letter M? And don't say it as a two digit number. Say it as a one digit answer for M because we already know there's a carry above the nine. Who's got this? Who's got this? Raise your hands. Come on, Valerie. Are you thinking about this? Eleanor, Nathan, Eric. Say it, guys, on three. One, two, three, go. Two. 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 No, it can't three. be a two. Three. This is a three. Because eight plus four plus one is 13. And you guys solved one of the hardest puzzles of all. Now, I want you to look at this, guys. I gave you all of these really fun puzzles. And you could try these with your parents. My favorite one is this one right here. And the reason I love it the most 
is because three plus three plus two plus one actually equals 11. So this one is a lot of fun. And just to point out, guys, there are four E's, five, six, seven, eight E's in that problem. They're all going to be the same digit. If you like cryptorhythms and alphabetics, raise your hand. If you want to do more of these puzzles, I hope that you love these puzzles. Guys, I will see you next week. Everybody have a safe, wonderful week. And give me that big smile. Come on, Eric. Give me that big smile. Go, Jason. Go, Eleanor. Go, Valerie. Go, Nathan. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.